Hello everyone. I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update today on what's going on on the plot. I'm just going to take this off. This is the uh, violet cauliflower. Lovely. It doesn't stay that colour. It sort of fades as you cook it, but lovely nonetheless. And it's also time I cut this bad boy as well. And it is a bad boy. It's a big old cabbage now. If I can cut it, yep. Yeah. Take off some of this excess. Do one proper tidying up later, but <laughs> there we go. That's a clunk. It's bigger than my head. Heaven's sake! Well, there we go. That and the cauliflower going home today. <laughs> now we've had an absolutely tremendous amount of rain here this last week sort of day and night for a couple of days at one stage the river came up very close to flooding in fact i think it was in the fields which is uh, yeah very close to flooding over um and i'm looking now this is where i planted the garlic these two beds and while i was doing that I was actually stood in four inches of water bearing in mind i'm on the side of a hill here and this slopes down Stood in four inches of water planting these. Thankfully they raised beds and they drain. But this water problem is a big problem really because it means that this area now where, they, where I'm supposed to be putting a new polytunnel, I can't really do any work on it because the ground is just so saturated that I'm going to be making more of a mess than a gain. And I need to... Um, I need to landscape here a little bit first before I can put the tunnel up. It's sloping from, from this picture now from right to left slightly and you can see you might be able to make it out in the, in the video here that this bottom left hand corner all this down here is very low in comparison to the rest so I've got a lot of soil to import here to build that up and when you're doing that with wet soil it just doesn't work so I'm gonna have to wait a little while before I can carry on and continue with this, unfortunately. So Greenside Up is dedicated to helping gardeners of all ages, experience and ability. And if you subscribe, and it's the big red button down here, or if you're on mobile, it's written subscribe in big red letters, then maybe I can help you too. And it's free of charge, it doesn't cost you a penny. It just means that every now and again you'll get a notification when I post a new video and you can come in, see what I'm doing and see how all my jobs and things are progressing through the season. Follow on. There we go. So that rain has left me in a bit of a pickle really because the aim was to strip all that tunnel away, move it away and get the new one up quickly as possible because I had plants ready to go in that I wanted to plant can't do that now so I'm having to make some changes the tunnel will still go up over the next month or so provided we don't get any more massive rain events like that if that can dry out and I can landscape it then we're off and running but it's going to be too late to plant it as I say I was hoping to get it done really sharpish ideally it should be up now it isn't and you've got to adapt your plan so I've made a few changes in the main tunnel and the tunnel at the back which we'll go over and have a look at in a second and that should alleviate the trouble of having the plants ready to go in the ground and having nowhere to physically put them so we'll go and have a quick look at that now so it always takes my breath away when i come in here in the morning and look at all this promise that you know of all this plants that's coming all this stuff that we can eat through the the colder months which is essentially what it is. Stuff ready to eat now, like this lettuce down here. And up here on the hanging shelf, we've got broad beans bursting through. And I'll let them grow on a little bit. But even now, if we look down underneath, you can see this little root coming out and that plant is only breaking through. So they're all making roots in there. Then they'll bust through and they'll fill these very quickly. Then I can plant them out. There's about 40 there, I think, in total. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got a few other things in here to sort out. I think these are ready for the bin. Um, 
a few more lettuce to pot on, some coriander. And then we move on to the plants that are ready to go. These are Komatsuna, it's a, a mustard, then spinach. I've got three trays here of brassicas, a couple of spring cabbage and a collie. We'll talk about them in a minute. Then we come on to the, the Asian greens. Got some tatsoi here, some mizuna, which the mizuna from the same batch is already growing away well here. But it's been held back in this tray. And then some pak choys. Down here in this bare soil, there was a brassica um, starter bed, which is what those brassicas on the shelf you just looked at came from. Hoofed all them out yesterday. So now I've got this great big area around here to plant in. Because I'm losing the planting in the tunnel that I can't get up. What I'm gonna do here is I'll put a border all the way around the edge with some of the pak choy. And then the area inside that, I'll fill it with that spinach until it's full. Um, and then fill up any space that's left over in this dug over soil with pak choy just chiefly because I want the spinach within easy reach. Um, so I'll put a board around of pak choy that needs no, nothing really. It needs one step in to take the whole plant out when I'm ready to, ready to eat it. But the spinach, which will give us continual picking over a couple of months, I'll have close to hand. We'll also go and have a look in the other tunnel in a minute. So just inside the door here, I've got my little trusty table and I've got this great big tray of oriental veg. This is a mix of seeds that I get from Premier Seeds and it's this one. It's a mesclum mix. And it's a mix of um, mizunas, kales, some, some lettuce, some dark and green, dark green and red lettuce, although I can't see any red lettuce in there at the minute. But that's all going home for steamed veg. I'll take that home today. But I need to sow the next one. So just a tray, mushroom tray, lined with a bit of old compost bag and some compost. And if you want to, you can recycle your hanging basket um, compost or any tubs that held flowers. Recycle it. Re put a little bit of feed in it. And then just sow some seeds in it. So that's the lettuce mesclum mix. And this one is a gourmet loose leaf mix. Again, it's a cut and come again. And I've said it before over the last couple of months, I like to keep these coming all the time. Every two weeks, I'll sow another one of these. Because when it gets to around Christmas time, New Year time, we're possibly spending more time at home than down here at the allotments. I'll take these home and leave them in the greenhouse at home so they're handy for picking. But they'll grow away happily now. And that's a few more seeds, so in a couple of weeks I'll repeat that same process. So over on this side of the tunnel we've got um, the crack key test trial. Chinese cabbages up in the big blue barrels. A few lettuce, they're getting away lovely down there and some pak choy. I think they're elephant garlic cloves down there as well. <laughs> My big DIY composter, hot composter, that's doing well. Can't really see much in there. Keep filling it up, it keeps dropping. You can see it's been up, well, where the dirt is, just keeps dropping down. So next couple of days, another fill for that. Moving round, whole pile of cardboard to go in there and the kale plants. These have done well. These were underplanted underneath from the tomatoes. There's one little ropey plant there that will come out. And any of those Asian greens that I've got left over when I've planted up the other areas, I will throw in this bed. I will underplant these kale just to fill it up. Right, we're going to have a look in the other tunnel. Uh, we're in the tunnel at the back of the plot now. And first thing is all these tomatoes. You can see down the bottom, they're ripening. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving these in until we get a hard frost, basically. Once a week, I'm coming and taking these ripe ones off. So I'm gonna harvest these today. Fresh tomatoes, middle of October, you can't beat that. And 
the rest of them they'll either ripen or they won't as i say i'll leave the plants in right until the last minute until a really heavy frost is predicted then the plants will come out then all the tomatoes will go home and be ripened on a windowsill or in a box with a banana but they're not doing any harm there i've stopped watering and feeding them just letting them ripen as they're ready and where i'm stood and where i shouldn't be stood <laughs> is this is my carrot clamp you can look back and find the video on that where i'm storing carrots over the winter layers of straw layers of carrots and then a layer of soil over the top so hopefully they'll store all right in in here this winter and i've got some timber stored up in here that's wanting to keep dry because i'm going to use it this over the next couple of months most of it is to line my dahlia beds over the other side of the plot and some canes which i need to tie up and put away but this little strip down here i've dug over raked over and this is ready for some of those plants that are in the hanging shelf in the main tunnel there so hopefully that'll make up the short i wasn't really going to plant in here over winter because i still need to do work on this tunnel but hopefully i've never I will have left enough space and once these tomatoes come out I'll have enough space to do what I need to do to this tunnel to finish it off over the winter. Hopefully all in all everything will be fine. So there we go mother nature has thrown me a curveball with all that rain we had. It used to rain here and I don't mind a little bit but we've had so much of it that the ground is so saturated I can't really get on it to do much. I'm gonna have to wait. It'll still, that tunnel will still go up this winter, just not as soon as I wanted to. But being able to adjust my plans and change things and you know, start using a little bit more bed down here and here and in the tunnel at the back there, just allows me to get a lot of these plants planted. The brassicas themselves I'm using for a different thing, uh, but that'll come in another video, I think. Um, yeah, so really it's just managing the changes that are thrown at you and I've got a lot of that to do at the moment with this wet ground. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Please look after yourselves and stay safe. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-ra now.